you can't sit down and wait for them to support you doing something that they're against your parents are not always going to agree with every single thing you do and that is okay you don't always need them to agree with you yo what's good y'all it's your girl jay and welcome or welcome back to my channel if y'all don't know who i am hello i'm jay what's up what's up what's up what's up and on this channel we discuss how to live your best life how to become the best version of yourself through personal development self-love growth and so much more if you're interested in any of that okay subscribe hit the post notification bell so you'll be the first to know when i drop some new heat you want to be the first to know okay you want to be the first to know when I drop some new tea because I be spilling the tea today I got a juicy topic for y'all like I'm so excited to talk about this one because ooh, this 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 right here this right here oh no we gonna talk today we're gonna be talking about how to use your parents negativity as motivation at first you may be like negativity for motivation Sis, you crazy. I promise you it's possible. There's two things you can do when you receive negativity from family or friends or just anyone in general. You can either one, absorb that information, let it consume you, your thoughts, and your actions, or you can go with number two and you can let it roll off your shoulder like nothing. Let it roll off your shoulder. Okay, let it roll off your shoulder. Now, of course, this is way easier said than done. It's never easy to hear negativity from the people that you you love the most but at the end of the day y'all like you have to realize that you cannot control people you can't control their actions you can only control your own no one can write your story for you your story is your life and yours only to live no one can live for you but you no one is in control of your life but you and i know it may seem like that's not the case right now but i promise you every single person is in charge and in control of their own life your parents they don't know your vision your parents aren't god they aren't fortune tellers they don't get to decide your future that's your job and your job only your parents may want the best for you but sometimes their best is your worst your parents only job should be to support you your happiness your success and your growth that should be the only thing that your parents should be worried about your success your happiness your growth that's the only thing they should be concerned about if that's not your parents goal if that's not what they have in mind then it's your job to ensure you supply your own self with support no matter if they agree with you or not all they can do is make up a crazy story up in their head about how they feel your life should go they'll never know your true story because guess what they are not you they don't get to define your future they don't see your vision they don't know what your future has in store for you they don't have your intuition and that is perfectly okay maybe at this time they're just not supposed to support you so you can support your own self we never see the bigger picture we just have to trust and believe that everything will work out in due time your parents can piss you off, but they cannot take your happiness away from you. Only you can make yourself happy because your happiness is your responsibility and no one else's. They don't want you to attain any sort of true happiness outside of the JWBS because it doesn't fit their small-minded view of how they feel life should go. You want this, okay? They don't want it. You want this. You want this happy dream life that you can't stop thinking about, this future that you you can't stop thinking about they don't they don't want that for you so it's your job to do the work right now and put yourself in the position for greatness this isn't easy don't let it sound like i'm saying that this is a piece of cake because child honey uh-uh this is not a piece of cake it's especially difficult when you have jwbs forced down your throat 24 7 but you have to push through you have to get out of the fear of not having support and learn to be okay with being your biggest cheerleader sis or bro or king or queen you gotta do what you gotta do to be the best version of yourself like it's your job honey i know you were taught otherwise but it's your job where there's a will there's a way and i promise you you will figure it out along the way great things take time but it's important that you 
plant the seed first and continue to nurture it, water it, and care for it so it can continue to grow. A mango tree doesn't grow the very first day that you plant it, but it will never grow if you don't plant it at all. Some mango trees take three to four years to grow if it's grafted from another tree. But if you're growing a mango tree from scratch with just the seed and the soil, it takes about five to eight years to not only grow, but to also produce that yummy, delicious fruit. Oh my gosh, I love me some mango, okay? If y'all don't like mango, then um, an apple tree, orange tree, you, you get what I'm talking about. Like any type of tree that bears fruit, it doesn't grow as soon as you plant it. So you can't expect to see growth immediately. You know, it's slow growth. I'm not saying it's gonna take you eight years to become the best version of yourself, but it does take time. It takes slow, consistent growth, and it's a lifelong process. It's a journey, but you have to start the journey to get to where you wanna go. You won't see change and results in your life if you don't first change yourself. And do something about your situation and stop letting life and people around you control you. Just do it. Just start. Let it go. Get up, sis. Boo. Let's go. We got things to do. Come on, let's go. No one is going to sit with you and cry with you and soak with you about how horrible life is. No one. Like, no one's gonna do that because they got their own lives to worry about. You gotta worry about you. Worry about yours. The more you stay stagnant and allow your self-doubt to take over, the more you let your parents win and have power and control over you. Or anyone else for that matter that's giving you negativity or coming at you crazy or hating on you any of the haters this is meant not only for parents but for haters anyone in your life that is giving you negativity be there for yourself right now so you don't have to be reliant on others surround yourself around people that genuinely love you and that want the best for you that motivate you and make you get up and do something and hey if you don't have those type of people in your life right now that's okay be the best friend you want for your own self and you'll attract those who will love and treat you the way that you deserve and the way that you want to be loved and treated become exactly who you want to attract in your life remember your goal at all times at the end of the day you want to be free from your parents constant negativity that jw foolishness you want to be free to live your life the way that you want to and you deserve to freely without worrying about oh gotta go to meeting gotta go to service gotta gotta do this bada bop beep boop ba uh uh I'm not with it no more I'm not with it you don't want people around you that's always doing absolutely nothing or just doing JW stuff like you don't want that cause they're always gonna encourage you to stay within the religion start to get out of the house more so you can focus on you if you're not allowed out of the house make your room a safe haven plan and work hard to have a better life you have to earn your greatness in life great things aren't just handed to you you have to work for it you want to be able to say that i did this this is what i worked so hard for it was so worth it in the end because at the end of the day no one will ever be able to take that milestone away from you no matter how much they hate on you get up and figure it out anything is possible your indoctrinated parents are not going to support you living a life you love outside of the religion so it's up to you to create the life you want you can't sit down and wait for them to support you doing something that they're against your parents are not always going to agree with every single thing you do and that is okay you don't always need them to agree with you you may need to take a pause or a break to make a game plan and write out the step-by-step steps to figure out how to get from point a to point b and you may need to take time to reflect have a self-reflection you know give yourself that time give yourself that self-care that love if you fail to plan you plan to fail so you need to plan but guess what it may be a pause but it is never a complete stop you always have to keep going remember to put your crown back on and keep going i believe in you let's go keep going you can't allow other people's opinions to dictate what you do even if they're your parents other people's opinions are just words Uh, like it's literally words all they can do is talk about you that's it and i'm not saying their words don't hurt because words do 
you hurt? Are you going to let their words consume you? Or are you going to use their words as fuel for motivation to do better in life and prove yourself right and prove them wrong? Their words is not a gun to your head holding you back from the life that you deserve. You can move. You can change. You can decide to do what you want to do. Even if you have to stay quiet, stay silent until you get a game plan, until you can probably move out of your house or do something, you can do it. At any time in life, you have a choice. And while it may not be easy, it's totally worth it. Don't let their negativity eat you up inside and cause you to fall into a deep depression. I don't want that for you guys. You have to stay strong and push through to the other side. You cannot let them win. You can't let the organization win. You can't let your haters win. Learn to tune them out mentally and ignore whatever they have to say. It's hard at first, but the more you practice ignoring the negativity, anyone else, parents, haters, naysayers, anyone, the more you practice ignoring their negativity, the more it becomes like nothing to you. It's literally like, okay, once you know yourself, people could be like, they could talk crazy to you and you could be like, okay, like, and what is that gonna do? You need to get to that point because y'all gotta remember people who are actually doing something meaningful in life and who actually have something going on for themselves, who have life goals that they want to accomplish, who love themselves, who already done leveled up, who know themselves, who are in their bag, okay? They about their money, okay? They don't got no time to be worrying about nobody else. They don't have no time to be giving negativity to nobody else. Nah, they don't got that time or energy. They're not even on that frequency to be giving out that negativity because negativity, negative energy, it's an energy, it's a frequency. They have enough love for themselves to give love to others and not negativity, okay? They don't got no time for no negativity. They give love and peace to others. People who are bothered with themselves, they gonna bother you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. they gonna come for you because they're so bothered within that they have to put it out on you they have to project there's a quote by Denzel Washington that says, you will never be criticized by someone who's doing more than you. You'll always be criticized by someone who's doing less. Remember that. Okay, remember that. That is so important and so true. Haters will never make it to the top. All the little negative people, those haters, yeah, they at the bottom. Yeah, that's where they live. They live at the bottom. They live all the way at the bottom. So if you wanna make it to the top, you're gonna have to leave some people behind. Some people people just aren't mentally there they physically can't make it there because their mental is just not there it's all out of it's just their mental ain't it mm -mm. their mentality their mindset if you don't have the correct mindset you're not gonna have the reality that you want it starts with your mind some people don't want to succeed some people don't want more for themselves they don't want to dream big they're so small-minded they're so close-minded and this is what I realize about a lot of religious people and I'm not coming for y'all like don't think that I'm hating on you. I respect everybody and their beliefs, but just a lot of religious people, they don't see better for their life. It's just always just that one, just da -da 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 -da. do this, 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 this. This is a plan set out for you and you can't do nothing else. You can't be happy. You can't do what you want. You can't live the life that you want. Uh-uh, that's not how life works. Some people would rather be negative all the time and keep you at their low vibrational energy so that you don't grow without them. And guess what? It's not your problem. It's not not your problem. I'm gonna say that again. Your parents JW doomsday cult like mindset and negativity is not your problem. So don't, don't even stress about it. When you level up, when you grow, other people's negative criticism and thoughts are not your problem. It's not your responsibility to worry about. When you become the best version of yourself, people have to learn who you are all over again because they don't know you. Like that's literally it. Like they just don't know you. They don't know anything about you bruh like people are used to the old you they don't care to know the new improved empowered real you in retrospect when you heal and you grow people have to grieve who you were like they literally have to grieve who you were and that's a painful process just like you have to grieve the idea you had of them supporting you that idea of the perfect supportive accepting parent or friend or family member or relative whatever the case may be. That perfect image you've always had in your head of that person, you now have to grieve them because they'll never be that. Hey, you can't control people. So you both have to grieve each other in a way. It's kind of weird, but once you get to that point and you understand and you have acceptance, everything changes. Don't force
force them to accept you don't force them to support you because honestly like why would you want someone in your circle who doesn't naturally want to accept you as you are already and not try to change you like why do you want someone who wants to change you and change who you are why is your love for me based on who you think i should be that's no uh uh-uh you accept me as i am not who you want me to be it doesn't make sense you want natural organic love and support not forced don't get me wrong your parents may love you and i'm sure your parents love you okay your parents love you all right some of them but their definition of love and your definition of love is completely different and it's up to you to decide what you will and you won't tolerate in your life let them have their own story about you that they have made up in their head sometimes you have to make peace with the fact that you are the villain in someone else's story even if you know deep down that you're doing the right thing You don't get to tell people how to narrate their experience. You don't get to tell people how to write their story. You're going to be the villain in some people's story and that is okay. You're not entitled to decide how people perceive you. You're not entitled to decide what people think about you. What people think about you is none of your business, first off. And second off, you can't control other people's life. You can't control their minds. You can't control what they think of you. That's all them. It's their story it's their life they're allowed to do think and be whatever the hell they want to that is their right that is their right they're allowed to it's their life the only story that you can control is your own you are in the driver's seat that's the best thing about life is that no matter where you're at you can change the game you can decide today i don't want this and you can work to have a better life six months from now a year from now your life can do a 180 and completely change stop being worried about what this that and the third thinks about about your choices and start being more worried about your day-to-day actions that will bring you closer to your goals focus on your goals so you never have to struggle you never have to worry about anyone else supporting you focus on you so you don't got to worry about nobody else supporting you you just feel a calmness within you people that want to support you will support you naturally organically i don't need nobody to support me i don't beg anybody like oh please support me please follow me please subscribe to me oh like please support this please help me no i have full belief in my myself and I believe in myself I'm gonna do me I'm gonna get the life that I want because I'm in control of my life and you should do the same your homework for today is to write down your goals like for real really take some time for yourself to do this take it seriously maybe light a candle you know put some chill music on have some good food that tastes really good you know food always gets me in the mood always makes me happy okay and just write down all the goals you want to accomplish everything that you want in this life how you want your future to look like every single goal you write down is just another reason to push through despite any negativity you may face any negativity any negativity any negativity even if it's your own negativity even if it's your own self-doubt because at the end of the day your self-doubt is most likely indoctrination it's most likely your negativity from your parents that's been told to you or how you grew up your future is bigger than this you are meant for more you are meant for more than a sad depressing boring ass meaningless jw life slaving for narcissistic controlling cult leaders let me know what some of your goals are in the comment section because i genuinely want to know i support you i want to cheer you on i want to be like go you got this boo i'm here for you we're all here for you you got this we on this journey together okay we are on this journey together if you'd like to hear more on this topic definitely look out for my part two on this video because you already know i got a part two i got you if you want me to do a part two let me know and you already know i'm gonna do that trust the process you got this and peace out girl scout what you still doing here you have goals to write down bye girl bye go write your goals down period i'm gonna let you go right now in your goals okay okay